three, two, one. Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. My name, if you don't know, is Anthony Parker, and I am proud to be here on Promotional Time Sunday. And uh, before I do that, I want you to uh, please, if you are a new subscriber, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit that like or comment or just like whatever you choose to do so let's let's get some interaction going on this channel uh, i appreciate my longtime supporters but i have a very interesting subject topic for you today we're going to be talking about the air tag and i have my lovely guest all the way from london her name is nicole she will be discussing what the air tag is and it's going to help out a lot of blind people if you're interested in getting that as well as she's going to be talking about her company that she represents so with that being said y'all i'm delighted to bring to my show, Third Eye Visions, my girl, M Nicole Moore. How you doing, Nicole? Hey, Anthony, I'm very well, thank you. Great to be oh, here. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. What time is it over there in, in London? It's about 5 p.m. 5 p.m., it's, it's 11 o'clock right now. So, I mean, y'all, you know, you should be getting ready for tea and crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> really? Well, we're gonna get right into it. I'm glad, to, you know, as I mentioned, I'm glad to have you here. You sound very professional, nice, nice microphone and everything. Um, as I try to delay, because that's what I always do, people say I talk, I want to welcome you to Promotional Time Sunday on Third Eye Visions. And I had seen your uh, seen uh, the, the, the ad or seen the um, post in reference to an air tag. Uh, can you come and uh, feel, familiarize us as to what it is, talk to us what it's all about and how it works? But And after that, you can talk. Well, you want to do the, talk, talk about your company first and then go into that, whichever you decide to do. This is your show on Promotional Time Sunday. Take it away. Thanks, Anthony. So yeah, I'll first introduce uh, the company that I work for, which is VIP World Services. Uh, we're a global company, but we are based in London. And we have a few different types of services that we provide. So uh, one of which is um, accessibility testing. Um, we actually use our community of what we call VIP or vision impaired people uh, to do uh, paid user testing. So we basically help other companies uh, develop and build apps and websites that are accessible, um, you know, according to the guidelines. Um, and the other couple of services that we do, we provide uh, are fairly new services, one called Travel Hands, and that's uh, particularly at the moment for Londoners. And it pairs a vision impaired person with a volunteer to help them travel to destinations. So um, yeah, to help them walk uh, around London, get to their destinations and back again. Uh, so yeah, it's a really great service that's uh, recently started in the last few months. We also have a buddy program, which at the moment pairs uh, vision impaired people from Western countries with uh, vision impaired people in Nepal. So that's something that anyone can get involved with. Uh, any VIP, if you have an interest in mentoring or buddying with uh, someone from a totally different country, different experience, uh, yeah, you can get involved uh, through vipworldservices.com. Okay, great. Uh, let me stop you right there. It's great, great, great. Uh, Sorry, is that too much? <laughs> no, no, that's that's cool. You, you're doing a great job. So, what uh, what prompted you to, to to create this? Are you all to create this? And how long have y'all been in existence? And and um, you know, just share some more information because this I think is very interesting. I wish they had something like this in in the United States or in specific cities and what have you to help out a lot of uh, individuals who are visually impaired, maybe for the first time, or you know, if you are a mentor, you want to sh you know work with other individuals, that would be great. So, what what prompted y'all to put this together? Uh, so we first started in I think it was in 2019, 2020. Our founder Ishan Yar. Um, yeah, sort of thought about the idea of, of Travel Hands. He was tutoring people in assistive tech and um, he had to guide a group of people somewhere one day and that prompted him to think, well, hang on, you know, we could provide like a, a guiding service kind of similar to Uber, but mm -hmm. specialised for uh, vision impaired people. Oh. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the buddy... Uh, program was inspired by uh, lots of VIP from the Association for the Blind of Nepal. Uh, Ishan himself is Nepalese and so he made that link uh, with them just to see how we could help with uh, while all their lockdowns were going on and we found that a lot of them wanted to learn English and uh, learn about experiences of people in sort of western countries. So yeah we started this um, just last month. 
Okay, great. Now, how say for instance, if I want to be a part of that or join or or just want to uh, have some assistance, give me a, a a scenario as to how I would link up with with y'all and acquire your services. Yeah, so you can visit our website. There's a registration form um, on there. Um, alternatively, you can join. We've got um, different community groups. So we've got a Facebook group and WhatsApp. Um, so yeah, there's lots of ways to get involved. We also do Zoom calls on a fairly regular basis, um, at least once a week, where vision impaired people can just join, have a chat, get to know other people. We have a, a topic, a discussion topic of the day, and also a quiz at the end. So yeah, lots of fun. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, enable so that connection. So if 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 uh, I, I were in uh, in your home uh, town or city, and I want to just to get out and go walk walk in the park, uh, how would I? Uh, what what would I do? I would call you all. Give give me the yeah. Awesome. You can call or email, or there's a, a form on the website you can fill in. Um, we need forty eight hours at least to uh, set you up with a volunteer and get your journey details of where you're going to and from, like addresses and where you're going to meet your volunteer. Um, and then yeah, it's a matter of. Of meeting them and going on your journey. That's great, and you create you can create a, a great a rapport, a great friendship like that too, as well. Yeah, it can be. So it's you know it's a mix between getting somewhere or doing something, um, and you know connecting with someone, which is really important, especially in in these times. And do you have do you get a lot of people who wish to volunteer? Yeah, we've got lots of volunteers, and from different. Um, different walks of life, you know, from corporates to um, just people who want to do something good or connect with someone. Okay. And, yeah. And, and also, um, uh, are there like limit limitations on where you all, you know, can go or what have you, or is it is just free for all? Yeah, um, it's pretty free form. It depends on how much time is needed of, of the volunteer. Uh, so you sort of think about what you need to do for that journey if you're going to, I don't know, a park or um, do some shopping. So you tell us how much time you might need and we find a volunteer who's willing to commit that amount of time to help you. Oh, wow. Now, uh, so are you ever at any point looking for any any type of funding? Because I think this, this is a very commendable uh, thing. And I'm quite sure a lot of volunteers kind of like would like at some point to get paid for their services. Not not a, not a you know, not anything, you know, uh, uh, elaborate, just, a, you know, a few, you know. Yeah, things. I'm sure. Like definitely, definitely in future. Uh, mm -hmm. That would be. Yeah, that's totally out of my area. But I'm sure Ishan. Yeah, would love to talk about that okay. sometime. Okay. Yeah. And again, before we uh, move on to uh, the, uh, the other subject, what is your what, what is your job at, at, at this um, Actually, the other service I, I didn't mention before is we have an assistive technology service. So I'm an assistive tech tutor. Um, and so I or we provide uh, training for um, vision impaired people in sort of computers, smartphones, accessibility features. Um, so, yeah, we can provide either one on one or group sessions on Anything from, you know, how to use a screen reader on a computer to OCR apps, uh, whatever you need to know. And at the moment, we are offering a one-on-one -on -one, um, half-hour session with me to discuss any technology problems um, people might have. So you can book that again on the website. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and that's, uh, not on, that's on a volunteer basis? The, the people volunteer here, there or you have to pay for that? Those no, that, that's myself. So I run okay. those sessions. Yeah. Okay. So it's all, it's like everyone under uh, under one umbrella provide different services along with the, um, uh, the you know, vol volunteering to, to, to take individuals yeah, exactly. out. exactly. It's all okay. about VIP. Yeah. Okay, great. So give me the name of it again. That's, I mean, that's because, I mean, tell, um, I don't know if they have it in the bigger cities here in, in the United States, but I know for sure where I'm located, they don't have anything like that, maybe like on the, in the different training centers, but that's, that's definitely, that would definitely help out a lot of individuals who may be a little apprehensive about actually getting out on their own and, and to, you know, to, if they get with like a, a, a buddy system, they may, they'll, they'll, it'll help build up their confidence. So give them the name of the, uh, yeah, service. so the name of the, our, our first service is called Travel Hands, and yeah, at the moment available only in London, but could expand. Soon. Oh, it does. And the name of your organization again? Is yeah. VIP World Services. Great, and I'm gonna get the links and later and put them in the description for my viewers. Now, um, the, the second uh, topic at hand, the air tag. Yes. Tell me about what that is, because I found that to be very interesting. Yeah, so the AirTag is a Finder device um, recently developed by Apple. So I think it, it came out about oh, maybe two or three months ago. 
And it's basically, you can use it to find items. So whether it be um, your wallet, keys, bag, suitcase, your guide dog, your cane, whatever. Um, so basically you connect it up to your um, iPhone via Bluetooth. Um, and it's basically, it's really small. It's the size of a button, uh, mm -hmm. essentially. It reminds me of like one of those coat buttons. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically you can either go to the find my app, um, and in the items tab, uh, and, uh, tap on the name of, of whatever you've named your air tag and it will basically make a sound or you can ask Siri to find my air tag or whatever you've named it. Um, and it will, uh, make a sound. You'll be able to, if, if it's nearby, you can hear where it is, um, through the sound or, um, you can view an address of where it's located, say if you've left it behind. Um, also, there is a left behind mode that you can enable so that if you go out of, you know, a 20 meter range or so of the AirTag, your phone will alert you and go, hey, you've left this AirTag behind. So really good for things like, you know, a laptop bag or a suitcase or something that you might just leave. Wow, so again, um, you, you, you uh, it's, it's, it's a little, uh, you have to download the app to your phone, right? Uh, is it, is it's, an app? The Find My app, yeah, it should be on all iPhones, I think, because it's an, an Apple app, so mm -hmm. it should be there. Yeah, download that, uh, take the AirTag out of its packaging. There's a okay. little bit of plastic over it, so just remove that, put it beside your phone, literally, and in a couple of seconds, um, your phone will say, you know, set up this AirTag, and okay. you can um, give it a name, and a category um, of items, mm -hmm. if you desire. Um, and yeah, then you're able to find things or get alerted when you are going to leave things behind. Okay, now let's say for instance, if I lost uh, my, my wallet, how would, it, how would it work again in terms of uh, locating it? Yeah, so if it was in like near you, you can mm -hmm. play the sound on it. Um, but if it's not near your location, it'll um, you can use voiceover with um, Find My to uh, get the address of where it's located, um, and then navigate to that address. So in essence, can, I would say, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so, you can all, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> good. Okay, so for instance, if I'm, if I'm looking for my wallet, I would say uh, Find My Wallet, right? Yeah, or you can even say to Siri, "Hey, hey, S lady, find my wallet." And she'll she'll make it make a sound. Um, if you've got an iPhone 11 or newer, so iPhone 11 or 12 range, mm -hmm. you can use um, the camera to actually um, use like a getting warmer function. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be really cool. I don't have one of these new phones yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so basically, if you've got your suitcase, for instance, and you're in an airport trying to find it, which is a total bugbear of mine, right. um, you can set this up and it'll basically say, you know, 30 meters, 25 meters, and it'll give oh, you directions, oh, whether it's wow. left or right or whatever. Yeah. So oh, it means wow. you can independently locate your stuff. Okay. Do you happen to have one on hand? That you yeah, can I do. Okay. Hey, okay. Well, then show us how this actually works uh, while you set it up, uh, or is it already set up? It's pretty much set up. Okay. And, well, yeah. Uh, okay. We'll talk us through it. We we are speaking with Nicole Moore. Um, she's gonna just demonstrate the air tag. I'm excited about this. So let's see how this actually works. So take it away. Uh, do you want me to connect my phone up to this? However you however you wish. Or should I just make the air tag make make a sound? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make. Do you need uh, to do hear that. my voiceover yeah. or not? Yeah. Just, let's just, just let it make, say for instance, um, let me right. see, because we're going to edit okay. it. I'll describe uh, what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. All right. So, so I've gone into the Find My app, and down the bottom you've got four tabs. I've double tapped on the Items tab, and now I have my AirTag here. So I'm going to... Um, Okay, so I'm going to go into the item that says Nicole's handbag. I'm going to okay. double tap on that. And then I get a list of options. And it's saying that the air tag is with me. So that's good. Mm. Um, I can play a sound. So I'm going to do this and hold the air tag up to the microphone so you can hear the sound okay. that it plays. 
Okay. So it's and not an ongoing sound. You have to play that again. Um, but yeah, it lasts for you know a few seconds while you try to find the device. Okay. Now, when it when it does when it made that, when it made that sound, that's signifying what. Uh, that you're getting closer to the handbag or you're uh that's just an, like an audio uh clue i i guess uh okay, so that you can hear it and and figure out where it is through your hearing right but because because with the confusing thing i'm sorry, for me personally is like if you're, okay you you have nicole's handbag the, the handbag won't make the sound though right it's not there's no, no there's no device this is right so your air tag has to be like in or connected to the bag in some way right mm. Um, I so also put this one on my dog's collar, so when oh, I take him for a so run, you buy, you buy several buttons and things. You like can that. buy, yeah, you can buy a pack of one or a pack of four. Um, okay, got you. And, and those they're around about thirty US dollars each. Uh -huh. And those will be like you put them on things that you normally would would lose or or exactly, or yeah. Got you, yeah. got you. Okay, all right, all right. So, all right, that, yeah, that, that definitely comes in hand. That's what you're saying. So, um, how long have you have you have you um? Have, have, have you been dealing with this or have, have have you had this type of device you just uh, i've had yeah i've been using one for about three weeks now and yeah absolutely love it Very but it'll be way more interesting when i can just like locate air tags or items within you know a couple of feet exactly, um, exactly. independently yeah <laughs> exactly so you can you can basically buy as many air tags as you wish and and, and and label it and then put you know like put it how, how do you stick it on there is it yeah or, that's that's a good question actually so um you can so basically it's just literally like a, a button some people might be familiar with the tile um tags which some of them have like a key ring um hole in them but these ones don't um so you have to buy like a case for them um mm -hmm. So you can get ones with like key rings or um, yeah, lots of other types of cases. You can get them from Apple, but you can also get them on Amazon, uh, might be a bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, I've bought like a holder for my dog's collar, um, key ring. So yeah, there's all different types. Oh, okay, that is so You neat. do have to put them in a case unless they're in like something like a wallet where they're, they're not going to fall out. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Interesting. Well, I want to thank Apple for coming up with something like uh, anything to uh, to assist the visually impaired in whatever way, shape, or form to make their lives much easier. I'm all for it. Um, I want to thank you for for coming on. And dem you have anything else you want to uh, talk about? Because th this is definitely some you brought some interesting things, especially with the VI World Services. Yeah, not yet, but maybe when I upgrade my phone, I could come back and demonstrate okay. how you can pr uh, precision find your items. <laughs> sure, sure. And uh, do you want to send a shout out to any of your uh, um, friends or coworkers or compadres? Um, yeah, I guess to all the, the the workers, the people at VIP World and our community. Um, okay. Yeah. Any people, names, particular names? Um, they put me on the spot. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, we, well, thank everyone. Y'all know who she is, and she knows who y'all are. But I want to thank you again. Give them the name of the uh, services that you work with. That uh, any any indi individuals in that local area can uh, to uh, can obtain. Uh, yeah. So the service, the local service to London is called Travel Hands, and then we have a VIP Buddy program, which anyone anywhere can join. Um, okay. And so that's yeah, a mentoring type system. Okay. Well, Thank you for coming on Third Eye Visions again. And I, I really, really appreciate you bringing it on and showing us. I'm going to show this next Sunday once I do the editing and whatnot. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. And drink enough uh, tea for I don't like tea. Drink <laughs> enough coffee for me. Uh, yeah, that's more my thing too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Be cool. Okay. Thank you. Great job, Nicole.